The River State University was established in 1972. It was known as the College of Science and Technology. During that time, His Royal Highness King Alfred Papapriye Dieter Spieth was the first military administrator of River State, a state recently created from the Midwestern region of Nigeria. He quickly saw the necessity to set up a university to boost education in the state. But during that period, the state governments were only allowed to establish colleges of education and technical colleges since university education was on the exclusive list. The vision came into fruition by 1980 and the college was renamed from College of Science and Technology to the River State University of Science and Technology when university education was brought back to the concurrent list. I wanted a science-oriented university. And um, that's what we were to be able to produce necessary manpower, especially in the specialized areas of uh, environment, uh, petroleum engineering, uh, marine engineering, aeronautical engineering, um, law, um, and other art subjects also. But we wanted a specialized university with a bias towards the science. With Chief Melford Obiene Okilo as a state governor, the constitution was granted independent university status. The River State University of Science and Technology became the first technological university in Nigeria and the first state-owned university in the Niger Delta region of Nigeria. Professor Turner Timini Preiso became the first vice chancellor of the university. Leadership is the capacity to translate vision into reality. The pioneer state administrators has bettered the kind of leadership that was strategic in nature. This laid the right educational foundation and created a proper structure for the future. They foresaw the need to cultivate and shape the river state people educationally, creating a befitting atmosphere and also providing the necessary educational infrastructure to ensure desired development for the state. The growth and development of the people is the highest calling of leadership. Originally, the university mandate was to produce scientific and technical manpower of various levels needed for essential development. This mandate was gradually achieved and the institution has been consistently turning out graduates in various scientific and technological fields. Currently. The River State University still remains the only tertiary institution in the country that offers a degree in marine engineering. Under the current state leadership of Governor Yeson Wike and the University Vice Chancellor, Professor Blessing Chimezie Didier, the institution was again renamed River State University by the recommendation of the National Universities Commission. The River State University has seen rapid growth and increase of our infrastructure. The state governor, Yeson Wike, took it as his top priority to upgrade facilities and build new structures for the institution. Taking on the baton from the past state leaders, he continues to run with the philosophy and ideology to invest in educating river state youth. An investment in knowledge pays the best interest. The governor has portrayed true stewardship in serving the people. The younger and upcoming generation have been better intellectually and technically equipped for tomorrow. The next generation of society runners are well groomed. The new Sudan Union government building, Aluta House, is being built. To fulfill the promise we made to the students that we are going to build a secretariat, a defeating secretariat for them to have to carry out the activities as it concerns their welfare. Day 26 of June 2018. <laughs> Thank you.
Gardner Yes and Wike inaugurated ultra modern buildings for the Faculty of Environmental Sciences, Faculty of Management Sciences, and a standard shopping complex. The building for medical science has been completed, and the new Marine Engineering Department building is in progress and will be completed soon. University projects which were uncompleted and abandoned for years by some previous administrations were not neglected but improved upon and completed. The evidence of continuity of vision for the betterment of society where special attention is given to areas where ideas are developed because passion for learning is continuous growth. Governor Yesen Wike has vowed not to play politics with education. His administration continues to sustain the development of critical infrastructure in state-owned tertiary institutions to improve the quality of education in River State. He has shown that leadership is not about the next election but about the next generation. All growth depends upon action and activity. There is no development without effort and effort means work. Hence, it is of no surprise that the governor has been nicknamed Mr. Project. Education is a foundation for our future. It is the empowerment to make choices that emboldens the younger generation to chase their dreams. It is a passport to the future, for tomorrow belongs to those who prepare for it today.